Do you know what today is? Uh, let me see, National It's Tuesday. DNA. Yeah, <laughs> it's National <laughs> DNA Day, who knew? One sample of your DNA holds enough information to create your own section in the Houston Public Library. That's Think about right. that for a minute. Uh -huh. And that information <laughs> could also be the key to solving mysteries about your health. Chelsea Edwards is live at the Baylor College of Medicine Human Genome Sequencing Center with how they're using DNA to unlock secrets to living better and longer. Chelsea. Yes, uh, learning so much here. Okay, so for visual, did you guys know that the information in your DNA could fill 200 phone books? I know people don't use phone books anymore, but <laughs> Dr. That's Richard right. Gibbs, you guys are handling so much uh, data and information when it comes to people's DNA. So in the last hour, we you kind of showed me how to extract it. Uh, what happens next when it comes to collecting that information? Well, once we have that digital data from the analysis of the DNA sample in the machine that does the DNA sequencing. We have to do a whole lot of steps of checking the quality of what we've got. Hmm. And then we look at that DNA and see if there are any changes that have happened in the person from whom we got the DNA and then maybe one day we can relate those changes to their health. Okay, and so everything's digitized now. I mean, it's uh, pretty much using barcodes and things like that to put all that information into a system and to be able to, I guess, use it to compare. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Um, it's it's a, a major task of taking that data and comparing it to all other known DNA data mm. so we can build understanding of the patterns of DNA variation so in, and sometimes in, in many many people because the more people we have in our study the more powerful the investigation is mm, okay so when you have information from someone who may have a, a terminal illness or a disease or something like that um, how are you using it you're, you're comparing it to somebody who may not have it to kind of figure out where it's coming from that's right the basic idea is very straightforward Chelsea if we take a person with a disease and a person without it, and we compare them, mm -hmm. then the DNA differences, somewhere in the DNA differences, mm -hmm. may be the explanation for the disease. Okay. Now, it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, I'm sure. Because we've got a lot of differences, thankfully, mm. yeah. between people that just don't cause disease, they're just part of our genetic background. So speaking of a lot of differences, you guys are part of a huge project, uh, hoping to get a million people's that's, samples? That's right. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, this is the uh, National Institutes of Health All of Us Research Program, and All of Us means a million people who uh, will share their genetic data and their health data to help drive discoveries. And people watching this can join at allofus.org. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Uh, if I didn't quite get it right, the website Join all of us is on. Us. There you go. Yes, it's on, and we'll, it's on the web, we'll on be the sure screen. to put that on our website at 526houston.com. But people can volunteer and also get information about their own DNA, maybe health risk factors and things like that. That's right, Chelsea. This is a really exciting program because it will deliver that genetic data back to the participants okay. as well as letting them participate in research. Oh, very cool stuff. All right, we got more cool stuff to show you guys coming up in the next hour. For now, reporting live at Baylor College of Medicine, Chelsea Edwards, Fox 26 News. A million people. That is amazing. Isn't that incredible? Yes. And you look like a natural out there, Chelsea, but don't get too comfortable. We need you. <laughs> <laughs>